Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my lucky patrons, Sylvia Letizia. Thank you so much for being a patron and continuing your support for the channel. Um, I also apologize as well for taking so long to actually give you a shout out. <laughs> yeah, it's just been a lot going on on my end, but at the very least, thank you so much for your continued support. It honestly means a lot to me. Uh, just to quickly mention as well, I know it's been bothering quite a few people about the fact that uh, my my intro is like of quote unquote like bad quality end quote and stuff. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I am looking to change it sooner or later uh, at the very least i have upgraded the audio quality i don't know whether or not i'm going to actually change the entire intro itself or if i'm just going to keep it the same and just replace the images so that way it's of more like higher resolution and stuff um, i'm probably going to lean towards the the latter but we'll see for now um, but I just want to quickly mention that that it is like it is going to be in the works other than that uh, let's go ahead and start the video Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be going over the new Nominate EX Plus deal uh, that's currently out in the global version of the game. Uh, in case you don't know, each time you pull from the banner, you're guaranteed a six star version of the new Prime Riku vs. Roxas uh, medal with a Mercy pull at five pulls uh, to get the seven star version of it. And within the banner deal, you have a chance of obtaining the new Nominate EX Plus medal as well. Okay. Um, and I basically want to give you guys some advice as to whether or not you should pull from this or not. Um, as well as I, I want to quickly nip in the butt <laughs> some uh, what most people are probably thinking about this medal. Because, um, I mean, to be honest, every time medals come out, medals like these come out, uh, it's pretty easy to predict what most people are going to be thinking, especially once I see the same people basically saying what I'm going to predict that they're going to say uh, in like my Discord or on like Twitter and online and stuff like that. So I kind of just want to dispel some some type of like misinformation that you may, may be thinking, but like after you think about it like just a little bit, it's actually not that great. Um, but anyways, let's get on with it, okay? So first of all, in terms of the banner itself, uh, my advice for the banner hasn't changed at all, okay? Um, when it comes to the Prime Medals, my my advice for the Prime Medals are the exact same. Uh, it has not changed at all ever since the Tier 4 and Prime Medals have first came out, which is essentially that if they guarantee a 6-star version of itself within, like, within each pull of the banner, then I would recommend to pull up to one time and that's it and then you can skip the banner for the rest of the time this is just the best way to save jewels while at the same time guaranteeing a copy of the medal uh to me personally i've always firmly believed that guaranteeing a copy of the medal when possible without like you know breaking the bank or anything within reasonable means like to me that's always more worth doing compared to try and get like the seven star version. Like I've mentioned before in the past, you guys don't need seven star medals. You you don't, okay? Like realistically, seven star versions of any medal is mostly meant for meta purposes. So when it comes to like these prime metal banners, especially because of the fact we get literally like one every single week, okay? <laughs> I am not expecting anybody to mercy pull every single prime metal banner every single week. Like it's just not, it's just unrealistic. Um. So to that end, just like always, I do recommend pull once and then skip the banner, okay? That's what I'm doing, that's what I've been doing, and that's what I've been suggesting. Um, and will always be my suggestion for future banners like this one. Um, if you really want to get to 7 star, I recommend just saving up your, your fairy evolution material medals as much as possible so that way you can evolve it later on and the same thing applies to any Fantasia Mickey Bees that you obtain. Just to kind of throw in as well, I do believe that Prime Medals are going to be replaced like sooner or later. Um, I mean, even even just this one right here, the Prime Riku and Roxas Medal itself uh, already straight up replaces the old Key Art 17 Prime Medal that was a for Tier 4. And who's to say they're not going to release more that basically are going to be replacements of the Tier 4 and like other attributes. Um, and who's not to say that like they're, they're going to release Tier 6 Prime Medals, they're going to replace Tier 5 Prime Medals. Like, 
like re realistically they're gonna end up replacing each other like realistically i'm expecting a lot of these prime metals and stuff to easily be replaced fairly soon so for me it's not worth to heavily jump the gun now for a short-term benefit the last thing i want to kind of quickly talk about before i end this video is about the nominate ex plus metal herself okay and this is just because of the fact that <laughs> i know what a lot of people's thought process is going to be when they first see this metal and in case you don't know what she does as of right now, let me go ahead and read it to you. For three turns, okay, she increases your general strength by seven tiers, your upright strength by seven tiers, your PSM strength by seven tiers, your general defense by two tiers, and your PSM defense by three tiers. She raises your, special, your guilt bonus by 90%, um, adds plus five counters, uh, does fixed damage, and this is and this next one right here is the is the center that's making people's you know fantasies go wild which is she also changes the next metal's target type to aoe so basically if the metal after nominate ex plus is a random or single target metal um it'll actually be an aoe metal instead for just that metal and just a quick clarification as well uh, from what i've been told and I have not been able to confirm this myself, but at least from what I've been told, uh, copy metals that are copying the metal that becomes AoE from Nominate EX Plus will not, the copy metal itself will not become AoE too. So like taking a look at the screen right here, for example, now if we use Nominate EX Plus right here in the fourth slot to make Warrior of Light an AoE metal, okay, this HD Riku replica is not going to become an AOE metal, okay? Only the metal that gets affected by Nominate EX Plus itself will become AOE. Uh, the copy metal itself still copies what the metal itself um, is originally like the target type. Uh, so because of the fact Word of Light is originally a single tar target target type, that's a mouthful, uh, HD Riku replica is going to become a single target version of warrior of light despite this warrior of light being aoe from nominate ex plus so there's just a brief disclaimer right there okay so real quick this is what i want to talk about i know a lot of people's first impression uh when they come to see the nominate ex plus metal is the fact that they are going to think that like holy crap she makes single target metals aoe so now i can basically take my strongest damage metals like warrior of light for example uh put put them in the back of my keyblade make it aoe and boom i am solid okay. i'm gonna do the most insane amount of damage ever i can use some of my best single target metals for like you know pve purposes now okay i just basically want to tell you guys like as exciting as that is at first thought realistically it's actually not not efficient at all whatsoever it's actually very bad um for a variety of reasons and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give you and show you guys an example okay so right here on the screen i went ahead and made a finris setup utilizing the new nominate ex plus metal in a way that i figure uh, most people were kind of thinking along the lines of how to use her which is the fact that you're thinking about using her you know some of your best single target damage metals like warrior of light right here in the fifth slot you can put nominate like in the fourth slot make him aoe and then yeah go to town with that okay um but there's a few problems with this okay one of the main problems is the fact that nominate ex plus herself only does fixed damage and that's it she doesn't do a lot of damage herself and for all practical purposes she's basically a main buffer metal and the main issue with this is the fact that main buffer metals are not meant for damage at all whatsoever um and another problem with this as well is that because of the fact that if you're going to try and use her in the later slots to make your main damage metals like warrior of light over here aoe what that basically means is that you you basically just left your first few slots over here without buffers so that means you're gonna need more buffer debuffer metals within your first slots to make up for that such as like the Kyrie ex for example okay essentially in a nutshell nominate ex plus trying to use her in a setup like this just makes her setup super awkward and janky um, to the point where it's just not even efficient like you're literally sacrificing this four slot right here just to try and get that aoe out of warrior of light and to be honest this this setup right here 
is actually going to do less damage instead of just doing a normal setup, like a normal universal setup instead. And the reason why I say universal setup is because the fact, well, the whole reason you would want to use a nominee like right here in this type of situation in the first place is for AoE purposes. So yeah, you're better off just making a normal AoE setup in the first place instead of using nominee EX+. So if you really want to use a nominee EX+, uh, in a setup for AoE purposes, you're actually better off using her as a main buffer metal instead. Um, instead of trying to use her like towards the back for your main damage metals. Um, and a good example uh, of what I mean is like with this setup right here that I've also created. Okay. Um, and basically what I'm doing right here is that because of the fact Nominate EX Plus provides literally all buffs for upright. Uh, it provides no debuffs at all, so being her being single target herself is not a big deal. She also provides some defense buffs, which is nice, okay? So in this case right here, you can actually use Nominate EX Plus as a main buffer herself, and then what you actually want to do instead is put one of those like single target debuffer medals that you normally don't use in AoE purposes, um, and you can actually put that in the second slot since nominate ex plus herself is going to make that single target debuffer metal an aoe metal okay so like right here in this situation for fenrir for example i went ahead and put prime lee and isa because that's a single target debuffer metal okay some notable mentions that you can basically do this type of combo with as well uh, just to kind of throw them out there are going to be metals like i showed in the example are prime lee and isa prime illustrated axel illustrated invisible because remember he does debuff uh, general defense by seven tiers. Um, Scrooge McDuck himself, and he's probably honestly going to be the best metal to make AoE, to be honest. Um, as well as Miguel and Dante. Like, he's also a very good possible candidate, depending on the keyblade, like Starlight or something. Now, unfortunately, because of the fact that she still only affects one metal, period, that does mean, like in this setup, for example, I still have to use Buzz over here in the third slot, uh, just to keep to the AoE-ness of, you know, the setup. Um, but this this right here, this first two slot thing right here, this combo, this is honestly going to be your best bet in terms of, like, how you want to best utilize Nominate EX+, Plus, uh, in terms of a damage setup anyways. Because, um, like, even if you can just look at the damage that I have right here uh, for these two setups, like, going back, okay, the first setup that I showed you, which is kind of what people were thinking about doing in the first place, uh, this this setup does about, like, 22 and a half million damage, okay? If I go to the second setup where I use Nominee as a buffer metal instead, to act, uh, on top of making my single target debuffer an AoE instead, this, this, is about, this does about 27 million, okay? That, that's literally, like, a 5 ish million difference right there so quite realistically you're better off using her as a main buffer metal to also affect any uh, single target debuffer metals you own um instead of trying to use her as a like utility to make your strong damage single target metals aoe instead uh you're much better off doing it like this the last thing i want to point out as well in terms of nominate ex plus is that aside from the fact she's actually not very good for aoe setups in the first place she's actually going to be most utilized and best for for pvp okay um mainly because the fact she actually heavily influences the turtle setups now for like the meta turtle setups within pvp which is the fact that like previously you would have like just these three metals right here for the meta turtle strat uh in the game okay whereas the Violet using her twice will pretty much near max all your uh, defense buffs and then you have Mrs. Incredible over here to completely overwrite and max debuff your opponent's strength the uh yeah strength debuffs okay and the whole purpose of having the nominate ex plus here is one uh, she provides full buffs like strength buffs so that means that the uh, turtle medals themselves for this setup can actually do some damage uh, that's the main reason for her there. The other reason is for the plus 90% guilt, which again also lets the turtle metals do some damage. Um, and the third reason is because of the fact that her buffs, her strength buffs, actually last for three turns. Um, those are the primary reasons why she's actually going to be mostly useful for PvP out of anything else. Uh, now granted, you can use a turtle setup like this as well, but you're honestly, honestly, if you're going to use a setup like this outside of PvP, you're, you're much better off just using a normal Kyrie or Shion EX Plus instead, 
um, or even just a normal Kyrie EX uh, instead, instead of trying to use the Namina EX Plus. It's, it's not it's not that worth it. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I, I just wanted to quickly dispel <laughs> some of those thoughts because I know that's that's immediately jumping to most people's heads. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Um, I'm sorry, by the way, for my lack of being able to keep up with the Metal Analysis videos. Uh, I was kind of burnt out by the fact that, like, you know, they did release six prime, like, incredible medals like all at the same time on top of like you know all the other medals on top of it so it's like I, i'm behind so um what i might end up doing instead is actually just release the previous uh medals who've been out for a while already uh on my website and just leave the articles there i might not make a video uh, i'm not sure yet but at the very least I'll have the articles up on my website and I'll have the videos for the more recent uh, medals that come out, such as like Nominee X Plus and so I'll have those ones come out. So that way, and, and the main the main reason for this is simply because of the fact it's, it's throwing my schedule way off because I'm so behind because they literally just like, they literally just busted out like, you know, like 10 medals within like two weeks it like two three weeks and it's just like it's 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 too much for me to keep up all at once especially when i came back from a two-week hiatus <laughs> uh, without me being constantly feeling burnt out so um i'm sorry for the lack of the videos i will be having the articles out though but other than that my name is brian from kinder martini cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace